A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he scattered the seed, some fell on the hard path nearby, and the birds came and ate it up. Ah! That would not be fun. Some of it fell on soil that was full of rocks. The seed started to sprout and grow. The only problem was there was very little dirt, so the plants didn't put down roots which would help them come strong and healthy. In the afternoon, the sun was very hot, so the plants that started to grow in the rocky soil just withered and shriveled and died because they had no root in the ground. Some of the other seeds fell on soil that had been taken over with weeds and thorns. The weeds and thorns grew faster and taller than the plants from the seeds, so they choked out the plants that the sower wanted to grow. Finally, some seed fell on the good soil that had been ploughed and fertilised and weeded to make a good place for the seed to grow. Those seeds made healthy plants and produced good fruit. Hooray! Jesus said we're like the soil where the sower planted the seeds. And the seed is the good news of Jesus. Sometimes we hear about Jesus and his love and our hearts are hard and filled with anger and bitterness. The words fall on the hard ground and never grows, just like the seed that fell on the path. There are other times when we hear the word and we get excited about it, but then our excitement fades away because we don't really understand. That's the way it was with the seed that fell on the rocky ground. Sometimes we hear the word and we believe what it says, but we want to keep on doing the same things we've always been doing. That's like planting the seed with a bunch of weeds. I'm sure you can guess what happens. The weeds soon take over. The last seed is the best. It fell on the good ground. If you learn from what you hear in Sunday school and church, the seed that Jesus plants in your heart will grow. Your life will produce good fruit just like Jesus intended. Well, here we are again. This week I've been thinking about planting some flowers that the birds will love. And so I was planting some sunflower seeds. Those little seeds there, each one of them, hopefully, will turn into a flower like the one on the packet, with lots and lots and lots of seeds. But I had to think very carefully about where I wanted to plant the, the, the seeds. So, remembering what Sa Sam and Susie were talking about, would the pathway be a good place? I don't think so. Ah! That poor little seed is going to get eaten by the bird. It's a kind of big seed for a bird, but still. Would the rocks be a good place? No, the rocks wouldn't be a good place either. Because they might just, the seed might start to grow, but there's so many rocks there that there's not enough soil. And that poor little seed will go s and sizzle down back into the ground and die. Then maybe I should plant it among all the weeds. No. <gasps> the poor little seed is gasping because he has no room to grow. The, the seed, the weeds are <laughs> overcoming the seed. So instead, I thought about planting it in good soil. And hopefully, at the end of the summer, this is what we'll have. Hooray! That one little seed will turn into a flower with lots and lots of seeds. And as you can see, I have one started here. This was started just two weeks ago. And he's already growing. And before long, I'll put him outside and let him grow and hopefully into a beautiful flower. Maybe you can grow some seeds this year. The Bible tells us that we're a bit like the ground. I hope none of you are like the rocky ground or the pathway or the weeds where the seed has no room to grow. The seed that's planted in good soil will grow and grow and bear much fruit, just like the sunflower seed. <laughs>